right, we are now entering Joshua Tree National Park. Um, this has gotten to be an international destination, so we're hitting it really early in the morning to beat the crowds and beat the tour buses. And our two main stops uh, are going to be two of the most uh, iconic stops, uh, and that is Skull Rock and Arch Rock. Uh, and then from there, um, we're blasting down south to the Salton Sea area. Alright, we're now at Skull Rock, which is uh, probably the most famous stop off here in Joshua Tree National Park. Uh, as you can see, it uh, looks a lot like a skull. Can definitely feel some uh, negative vibes here, uh, negative energy, you know, kind of a creepy feeling here. So, uh, yeah, I, I think we're going to get in the car and uh, get the hell out of here fast. Okay, so we're here at the Arch Rock Trail, uh, Joshua Tree National Park. And uh, as you can see here, there are some very bizarre rock formations. Uh, I mean, they look like they're just from another planet. So uh, make sure to get this one right here. Got it. Very bizarre. And let's just do a little whirlwind. That almost looks like a, a, another skull rock right there. Yeah, it does. So all this rock around us here, they say, is between 135 and 155 million years ago. Uh, it is an igneous rock. Uh, which is formed when hot magma, magma, remember from Austin Powers, yes. International Man of Mystery? Magma. Magma. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right, so we are now at Arch Rock, as you can tell, very uh, popular spot here in the park. Um, kind of hard to make out the arch, okay. but you can see it up there at the top, and you can kind of see the sky through the bottom. One of the cool things about the desert uh, in general, ah oh shit, cut it. One of the cool things about Joshua Tree Park is they got hikes that go out to some mine remains. Uh, and here's one called the Silver Bell Mine, uh, which was uh, part of the whole uh, gold fever, gold rush era of the 1850s and 1860s. And up there on the side of the hill, you can see the remains of the mine. Okay, we are now at one of the uh, lesser known areas of Joshua Tree Park called Chola's Fuck. All right, we are now at one of the lesser known areas of the park called Chola Cactus Garden. And uh, as you can see, there's a, these are very unique looking cactus. And this is the only section of the park where they have these cactus. And there, another thing you'll notice is that even though we're still in Joshua Tree National Park, there are no Joshua trees around.
right, here we're pulling up to the Airbnb. Yeah. Mark, what was that, that you said? <laughs> Hold on one second. I'm so loud. Mark, so the, what's that? The Airbnb we're staying at, they said we had to be out by 11 a.m. on Sunday. And it's also a shoes off listing. A what? Or what? <laughs> hey, uh, Mark, I just got a uh, text from the parents. Uh, can I uh, quick text them back? No. Donnie, look what we got here. Another UFO spotting. Let me see. My God. Oh, yeah. I do see it. Holy shit. Can you see the alien looking at us out the window? There is. Damn, there's two of them. So, Mark, tell me about that place. All right. So, this apparently is a Futuro house. Uh, there's... Uh, only 95 of them in the world, and only 19 of them are in the United States, and they were developed, they became a big fad in the late 60s, and they were developed by some Danish egghead, <laughs> whose name I can't pronounce. Uh, cool little, you know, relic here in the desert, and um, you can actually rent this baby on Airbnb for $296 a night. Uh, totally off the grid, it's all solar powered. Um, <clears throat> they don't say much in there about, you know, where you take your showers or any of that. I think it's kind of one of those uh, roughing it, glamping experiences. Very cool. Okay, let's do one more take. All right, here we are at the Tiny Pony Tavern. Uh, real cool hangout here um, off the 29 Palms Highway in Joshua Tree. And uh, we ordered what is supposed to be uh, the best dish in town. That is the yucca fries. Okay, our food has arrived and the, uh, the yucca fries are absolutely delicious. I strongly recommend them. Our waitress, it says here, the Tiny Pony features Yucca Valley's best views of Shoe City. And uh, that's kind of a joke because Shoe City is uh, supposed to be the ugliest building in town. So as soon as we leave, uh, we are going to snap a picture of that for you so you can see it for yourself. Okay, so uh, their menu was saying we're right across the street from the unbelievable Shoe City. And, and there it is over there. And I can see her point, that, that place is a disaster. Uh, hey, Mark, can we go over to that uh, antique store over there? No. 